people here. But nevertheless, I think it's about time to get started. Again, I'll repeat, uh, uh, we really appreciate the support we've gotten from our sponsors. Uh, this has been an interesting year. Uh, they signed contracts expecting a face-to-face -face conference, and they aren't getting that, but they've stood beside us anyway, and we really appreciate that. Uh, and some of them, of course, are having uh, uh, an interesting 2020 themselves. So we'll, we'll step through them here. And uh, uh, Facebook is a diamond sponsor. Uh, we appreciate that. And uh, full disclosure, that's my employer as well. Uh, IBM and NetApp and Western Digital are platinum sponsors, and we appreciate their support very much. Uh, we have both sponsors, ARM and Microsoft Azure. And if you'd have told me uh, the first plumbers conference that I was on the organizing committee of, which was 2009, the second conference, that I would one day present be presenting a slide that had sponsor on it and also Microsoft on it, I'm not sure what I would have done, but I would not have believed you. But here we are, and we really appreciate uh, both ARM and Microsoft's uh, support this year. Uh, Collabora is our Cashbox sponsor, um, and they are somebody we uh, our support is appreciates as well. We're not face-to-face, -face, we don't have Cashboxes, and we appreciate their flexibility in continuing to support us. Uh, AMD and Red Hat are our silver sponsors, and their support is greatly appreciated as well. And again, there's all our sponsors, and a big thank you to all of them. Um, this is uh, often treated as kind of boilerplate, and I, especially this year, recommend you take we, everybody take it seriously. It's just way easier to say um, ill-considered things and have ill-considered things going on uh, when you're virtual. Uh, there are things that uh, there, there's there's things about people that make it make them a little bit more inhibited on this front of their face to face. So please, uh, I'm sorry to have to say this at all, but sorry it's 2020. This all, but... And uh, uh, but and here we are. And uh, uh, please take this very seriously. We want everybody to have a good conference, no matter what uh, background or or type they might be of. Okay. Um, uh, housekeeping. So, uh, again, thank you for joining. We appreciate uh, uh, one of my fears, of course, is that we'll show up next week and something will break, or somebody will show up and they will, and they'll do what I would normally do, which is not have prepared, and everything won't work for them. So, I appreciate you getting ahead of the game, showing up for this, and making sure that things work. Um, so, what, the way we work this, there's a couple reasons, is that if you're presenting. Or if you have a question, and there's a couple ways to question, let's start presenting, then you want to have your video on, you want to have your microphone on so that people can hear you. And that means you need to be able to uh, have those work for you. Uh, if you're not actively participating, uh, we'd ask that you keep your microphone and camera muted for two reasons. Uh, microphone, of course, uh, I'm sure you guys have had the same virtual experience most of us had this year. If you got somebody that doesn't realize they're unmuted, it can be really, really disruptive, right? And they may not be paying attention, so how do you tell? So please take extra caution next week uh, to make sure that when you're not talking, you're muted so that you aren't disturbing people. Um, I mean, I've done that to people before. I have to take my headset off to talk to somebody, and and I forget to mute, and they're hearing stuff that that doesn't concern them, and I'm uh, I'm causing trouble. So let's let's avoid that. Uh, camera. Um, uh, one way to say, hey, I want to interact now is turn your camera on. Okay. Uh, but having too many cameras on has two downsides. One is it puts extra load on our servers. Um, we were thinking in terms of when we selected this system of 550 people. Um, I think earlier this week we were two people short of 900 signed up. Okay, uh, and the video puts the heaviest load on the servers. So to make it so that we can get through next week without having the whole system crash on us, uh, please if you're not actually actively uh, needing to have people see your video, if you're not presenting or you're not preparing to ask a question, uh, then please uh, turn your camera off, not mute your camera. Of course, make sure your camera works ahead of time, and that's part of the purpose of this session, and we'll, we'll go through that uh, here in a moment. Uh, we got few enough people, everybody could turn the camera on and we'd be just fine. We've tested for far more than this. So how about if everybody, everybody first uh, turns your camera on? Let's just make sure that everybody's camera works. So let's not be shy. Um, I mean, uh, well, de uh, depending on the, uh, exactly what state of 
situation you're in, use your judgment. It's not too pleased to turn your camera on. Let's make sure that people's cameras actually work. I'm seeing uh, four other people. There's a fifth one showing up. And uh, we got a sixth one. That's great. Uh, but let's just, you know, no, let's see your smiling faces. All right. Yeah. That's, uh, we got a penguin there. Good show, Guy. Uh, uh, seven. Uh, but uh, the main thing, that just want to make sure that, you know, if if somebody's got a problem with the camera, this is the time we want to debug it. Okay, not next week. All right. That's, that's what we're getting for here. And what it will do uh, is uh, we'll kind of go through people and have them say something just to make sure that there works. We've had challenges in the past on audio with people who have multiple uh, audio inputs. And what will happen, it's, uh, it's usually best to use a headset. Uh, the reason is that cuts down on uh, feedback. Okay, obviously you're muted, feedback's not a problem, but and, uh, you have your speakers in the wrong place, they point at your microphone, and the uh, life noise you really quickly. Uh, so if you have a headset, it's good to use it, but if you, have a, if you have a headset that is not directly connected to your system's default audio input, uh, some have some issues. And we got more people showing up. Uh, looks like we've got most people here. That's great. Uh, so it looks like, uh, uh, so um, if you are having a trouble with your camera, I mean, if you're choosing not to do your camera fine, um, okay, I mean, we got sessions later on and you also have the option, we got 15 minute breaks and also 15 minutes at least preceding the thing between all of the um, referee track talks. That's another time you could come in, although um, uh, there are cases where I won't be available because I'm talking, right? So. Uh, I'm available now, I'm available uh, later this afternoon, Pacific time and tomorrow morning. So this is a great time to, to be checking that. Okay, um, so uh, if again, if anybody is trying to get their video working but having a problem, please go to the public chat and, and say that so that we can help you uh, with that right now, which is because that's, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, going once. Uh, going twice. Okay, we'll assume that everybody that wants to make their video work has gotten it working. Again, uh, at any time, if you're if you uh, uh, are having problems with it, uh, uh, if you want to, well, if I can contribute just very quickly, the Please. presentation area is where the slides are at the bottom of your screen. If you look, there is a little blue. Uh, minus, uh, minus button in it. If you click on that, it will minimize the presentation area and maximize all the webcams. So if the thumbnail is too small for you right now, you can click on that little white, uh, blue and white icon to maximize all the webcams, and you can see everybody's beautiful faces this morning, including you know Andrew being outside, Louis laughing at me. And if you want to resume that, there is going to be a little uh, presentation icon on the bottom right corner now that you can click on to restore the presentation area as well. Uh, final thing, I, I love the cat on the keyboard. That's awesome. Um, the final thing is you can actually move the slider. There is a resize area where you can move the size between the presentation area and your slides. So if you know your slides very well, but you want to make sure you see somebody popping up, you can reduce the size of the slides or you can make them bigger. We can show that again in the presentation as well. And you, can you also possible. move it back and forth really quickly and make everybody grow and shrink. Yes, that's right. Why you'd want to do that, I'm not sure, but here we are. Okay, um, at this point, I guess I would, it would be good to uh, uh, kind of go through and have people say something to make sure that we're hearing them. Um, I'll start with Xiong Jie, uh, whose name I probably just mangled. Could you please uh, speak up? Yep. Great. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Very good. Uh, oh. Patrick? Oh. Yes. Can you hear All me? Right. Is the audio... Your Very good. Appropriate level. You're doing well. You're doing great. Thank you, uh, Nick. Okay, let's see. Maybe Nick posted saying he's having problems with. Oh, yeah, he having log on using Edge, so we mean he may be having connectivity problems. Uh, this is a uh, Nick. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have a microphone, so he's trying with laptop. Okay, what we'll do, Nick, is we'll come back around to you um, at the end, if no other time, uh, or or when you get connected during this process, whichever whichever works best. But again, that's why we're doing the session. 
Okay, Nathan. Yeah, I'm now muted, so hi, everybody. Hey, good show. Great audio. Uh, Maxim, or Maxime, however you pronounce it. Testing one, two, three. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, Mark? Uh, this would be Mark. Hello from the Netherlands. All right. Hello from uh, West Coast US. The couch colors are on point. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Marco? Hello. Testing. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Luis? Or Luis I, I never have figured out how to pronounce your name. Why don't you say your name for us? Pronounce your name for us the right way. OK. Uh, hello from Brazil. This is Luis. Luis. OK. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Kevin? Kevin Brodsky? Hello. <laughs> All right. Very good. OK. Uh, Florian? I think we tested already, but let's make it official. What the heck? Hello. Very this good. Florian. Uh, David Malcolm? Hello. This is David Malcolm. Can you hear me? Very good. We do. Right. Thanks. Uh, Danielle? Hello, this is Danielle from San Jose, California. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Andrew McLeod? I assume this is working just fine. It sure is. Good show. And great uh, background there. I like that, as was mentioned earlier. Amir? Amir Goldstein? Hi. Good evening from Tel Aviv. Excellent. Okay, I don't think I should call on YouTube live. And we got a bunch of people that uh, have tested this many, many times on the committee. Now, let me just run back down. I don't. I think. Uh, 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 there we are. I'm going to try this, and you can laugh at me, but uh, that's uh, that's all fair. I'll say Raja Takushmi. Yeah, Raja Taklashmi. And you can tell me how it's really pronounced. I think he's just disconnected. You can see there's no audio at all oh. for him. His, his icon is white, so he's neither in listen-only mode or in the microphone mode. It means he's only connected without any audio at all. OK. So um, he can't hear you. Okay. And Elana was mentioning that you might have skipped over her, so maybe we give Elana a chance to speak up. She was mentioning she had bandwidth connectivity issues. So Elana, oh, she's, uh, she's can up, we hear she's, you? Up at the top. she's up at the top. That's why I skipped her. I'm sorry, Elana, oh. please. No, it's OK. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. You hear me? Very good. Thank right. you, Alana. And again, apologies for uh, I, I just uh, the, the icons change shape. And I assumed that your shape of icon implied uh, uh, that you're part of the committee uh, when uh, you're a speaker. So you have the same shape of icon. OK. It, it, uh, it might be a little bit confusing for everybody here. What uh, what Paul mentioned is that there are multiple roles here, moderators and participants, viewers. They have different icons. You see the people at the top all have square icons. And underneath that, you have circles. The people that have a, a square icons are moderators on the platform. They have privileged access to help you run your session. Um, you do not need to be a moderator to be a presenter. Any one of you can be promoted to be the presenter. Uh, and especially when you are the presenter, you don't want to be bothered by the moderator activity. So your session MC, the member of the committee that will be in your room, or anybody else that has moderator rights will help you run your session. You don't have to worry about that. The only thing I wanted to mention here is when you log out or when you change your settings, you're automatically demoted from moderator to viewer. And that's why, Paul, you missed her, because she probably was just logging and coming back in. So her icon went from the top to the bottom and back out. So. Uh, don't be alarmed by that. And again, rely extensively on your EMC or the moderators that are available in your room to do all of the crowd management and things like that. So you can just focus on your presentation. Thank you, Guy. I uh, appreciate the explanation and uh, and all your hard work on making all this happen. The, the, we've got guides that I sent most of you guys, and uh, those are Guy's work. It's great stuff. Uh, Nick, uh, you say you're logged on with a uh, laptop, camera, and microphone. Uh, Please say something so we can check it out. And uh, also, feel free to enable your video. Um, uh, testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, I've been trying to enable my video, but I'm having trouble with that. Can you hear me now? We can hear you, and we can see you. Your video is oh, enabled. Okay. I can't see me or anyone else, but <laughs> fair enough. Um, uh, that might be, let, let's see. Uh, uh, what? Uh, so what, 
what what do you see on your screen? Is it just totally blank or what? It's totally blank, unless I click on the presentation, in which case I get the presentation slide. Huh. I'll I'll reach out to you, Nick. We'll figure this out later. Okay. Thanks. Okay. But well, at least we can see you, so we're we're halfway yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a fedora hat, right? This, that, did I get that right? It's a red oh, hat. hat. This is my red hat hat, actually. <laughs> Said, oh, he's he's got a fedora hat too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we're always uh, happy to see people yeah. wear mobile hats. All right, yeah. wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. It it wouldn't be a conference without your hat, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, any questions on uh, on any of this? Uh, let's see. Um, the uh, uh, and as he mentioned, the MCs will be moderators, uh, and uh, they will um, uh, they will have the power. Although they're free to call somebody else, such as myself, in uh, or anybody on the committee in as well. Um, uh, and uh, uh, it is possible to silence people uh, if need be. Hopefully, hopefully people will pay attention to the code of conduct, and that won't be necessary. But yeah, it's 2020. What can you say? Um, okay, Patrick, you mentioned that you uh, disabled your webcam display and your audio improved. Uh, that can happen sometimes. There may be a bandwidth bottleneck somewhere along the line. And that's also one of the reasons why normally, I mean, this is obviously the exception, and, and the server's just fine with this number of people. Even if everybody turned their video on, we'd be we'd have plenty of margin. Uh, we've gone up uh, quite a bit higher. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, before upgrade, uh, one of the one of the uh, better consequences of 2020 is I upgraded my home Wi-Fi. And before I upgraded my home Wi-Fi, uh, I had a trade-off between audio and good video. Uh, after the upgrade, I'm fine both ways. But uh, we're in different places of the world. We have different bottlenecks in different places and some experimentation may be necessary. Okay. Uh, if there's no more questions on that, if uh, people are... Uh, Good there, with the possible exception of video uh, in the other direction for Nick. Uh, let's uh, go ahead, uh, uh, call out to the planning committee. There's a few of us on here, uh, but this has been an interesting year. And I appreciate my fellow committee members willing to be flexible and willing to deal with uh, with life as it came uh, in this in this year. OK, um, uh, this, this presentation may be downloaded. And so I would encourage you, especially the MCs, to actually download this so you have it uh, locally in case something is causing trouble and you can't find it afterwards. To download it, if you look in the, if you put the presentation up and look in the lower left hand corner of the presentation, there's a little, a very small download thingy. It's the arrow with the arrow pointing down to the flat bar. It's rather small, at least on my screen. If you click on that, you can download the presentation. You get a PDF, if I remember correctly. And that way you'll have access to all these links at all times. And there are a number of things in these on uh, that, that are help in case you're having trouble connecting. Of course, reaching out to any of us on the committee is all fair game as well uh, and encouraged. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, we also have Rocket Chat. Um, I'm not sure if any of you found that yet. If not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to paste. Well, I'm going to paste it anyway. So there, how's that? Um, Let's find Rocket Chat here. And let's go there. Come on, Paul, you can make this work. Here we are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this into the chat over here. And uh, this is a this is a an alternative. Uh, we, we also have chat. And you said, why, why do we have two chats? What's going on, right? What the heck? Well, um, you know, redundancy can be a good thing sometimes. And uh, this is an alternative way to communicate in case you're just unable to connect to BBB or in case BBB has a problem or any number of other things. This is a way to, an alternate way to communicate. Yeah, normally you'd use the, the thing. Also, the general channel in Rocket Chat is just there all the time. And in BBB, the chats are associated with a given session. And so instead of trying to find where one of us is looking in BBB, and say, oh, there's Paul. I, I'll ask him this question. If you just post here, uh, somebody's going to find it. 
maybe me, maybe somebody else, but it's a, a channel we'll be looking at. So anybody having trouble getting at Rocket Chat right now? We're seeing plenty of people logging in, so I think they're finding their way. I, I'm going okay. to add another link here, Paul, if you don't mind. It's not something we discussed, but I think it will be Please. useful. I just created a speaker's lounge inside of Rocket Chat so that if speakers specifically have a question and they don't want to use the general channel, just the same way that we have one for the moderators, I, I created just a hashtag presenters channel that they, they're welcome to join in and, and participate in. Uh, ask their peers for help, and we'll be, we'll be trolling there uh, for answering questions as well. So you're welcome to use the hashtag general that's visible by everybody. But if you have something you do not necessarily want to see the participants to see because you think it's a dumb question, there are no dumb questions, uh, don't hesitate to use hash presenters instead. Um, it's open to anyone to join. OK, and uh, there we have it. Welcome to the speakers, speakers Lounge, I see. Uh, please do check that out because, again, um, it's good to for us to work through problems with you now as opposed to uh, having some emergency that uh, interferes with your presentation or your if you're an MC, your speaker's presentation next week. We want to deal with problems now. I will wait for Nick to join there, and I will provide him assistance there. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Guy. Much appreciated. Interesting. Um, okay, so I can go there, and uh, all right. Interesting. Okay, um, and uh, so we had that, and I'm just going to verify that I can, as long as I'm here too, I can. This guy, and there we are. Okay, uh, so again, these are the help guides. Um, and uh, what I will do is I will um, add, um, I'm not sure if I will or not. Uh, Guy, what's your thought? Should I, should I add the Rocket Chat channels to this presentation? Um, Any reason not to? I don't think you. I don't think you should not. I, I believe it's a good idea. It's the first line of defense for the presenters. So yeah, uh, I would be nice. It would be nice to have that there. I agree. Okay. So what I'll do is after the session, I will do that and I will upload it. I'll, I'll upload it in place of the current one. And um, uh, if you have trouble accessing it with the changes, drop me an email. I'll send you a PDF. You know, your choice. However works best for you or get one to you somehow or another. Um, no, this should be a small, well, it's gonna, maybe because it might be large, but we'll burn that bridge after we drive off it. Okay, session start times. Um, this is our first multi-time time zone plumbers. Um, and so we did what many other conferences did. We stretched out from three days to five days. So it's Monday to Friday next week. Our start time is 2 p.m. UTC. And uh, that's uh, if you're in, uh, uh, yeah, it's India time, it's uh, uh, 7.30 p.m. Uh, we had somebody from Israel, that would be uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Central Europe, where we have a number of people, is 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern time, 10, and 7 o'clock for people like myself on the West Coast U.S. Now, the presentations are 45 minutes, that includes questions, okay? Um, the 15 minutes, we want to keep that because uh, we may have speakers that did just fine today, do just fine this afternoon, do just fine tomorrow, and something breaks, and we'd like to have that 15 minute slot in order to deal with that quickly at the time when they show up, as opposed to having to fight uh, uh, with the session previously running over. If your session does run over, that's a good thing. That's great. And we got boffs, okay? Um, and off present and you can submit a boff at any time including right at the end of your um, talk and uh, we'll do our best to take care of that and of course at any time I mean just like at uh, real plumbers uh, I guess this is real too at a non virtual plumbers at a face to face plumbers um, you could just go to you know off to a room or off to a pub or something and continue your conversation you got the same option here you know if, if you guys have if there's five of you that know you want to talk and you don't want to be bothered by other people running along feel free to use the virtual conference of your choice and go with it I mean it won't be supported by us but but you know that's another option but again we are doing boffs 
uh, throughout the whole conference. So feel free to use that mechanism as well. And feel free to email me if it's not getting approved quickly enough, uh, just in case I'm you know, distracted or something or having a senior moment. That happens at my age. Uh, okay, so, um, so we've gone through some of this stuff. We went through the video, audio and video already. Uh, we showed slides. Um, uh, if, you if you're a speaker and have your speaker slides ready, this would be an excellent time to demonstrate up to just go through the motions of uploading it so you've done it once. Uh, if nobody does, okay, fine. Uh, but um, if you do, uh, please let's take care of that now. Anybody? Uh, and let's let's uh, let's do raise hand. If I can remember how the heck to do this, um, you can do it. Yeah, what you do is you click on your own icon, and there'll be a set status uh, thing. So you, you click on your icon, it'll pop up a little side menu. There'll be set status. You click on that. And then one of the things you can do is the second thing on my list anyway is a raise. And then uh, it says emoji status at the raise. If you look at my icon on the left now, you should see a little, a little thing on the upper left of the icon, and that's a raised hand. Okay. So, if, uh, so let's just have everybody try that out to make sure that uh, we can get at it and that, that uh, everybody's browser is being cooperative and all that good stuff. Uh, so uh, please raise your hand again. What you do is you click on your own icon. It'll make a little pop-up. One of the options is set status. You go over to that and click on that, and then you've got a list of things away and raise hand. Just, just do raise, and that should make it so that you have your hand raised. This is one of the ways to get people's attention and ask questions. The other one, of course, is to turn your video on. Um, but if, we got, if we're in a session with a lot of people, uh, the raising hands is a little bit easier on the server than not turning your video on. If, if you'd like, Paul, I can I can demonstrate the UI of uploading a slide uh, very quickly for everyone, That'd and then they can try that for themselves on the. So if you don't mind, I will take presenter away from you very quickly. Go for it. So you you notice uh, if you want to notice that on the very top left of your user list, Paul is one of the first users of there, and you can see on this upper left corner this little computer screen that shows is the presenter. These little vignettes on top of the thumbnail are illustrating. Uh, what you have. So I'm going to take presenter real quick. So now it's moved to my user and I'm going to go ahead and share a screen for all of us to see. Uh, I want to try to pick the right one. I think this will do the trick. It takes a few seconds for the screen sharing to activate. So I, I suggest that you take a few seconds to make sure that everybody gets there. Usually it's anywhere between five to 10 seconds. Uh, for it to be provisioned to all of the users. And now you can see I am logged in in the other ACK room right next to us, ACK room number two. I am a trainee, uh, supposedly. Um, I really should just be that. Um, and I don't have any privileges. So this UI is going to look very much like what you have. I'm going to go ahead and assign trainee the presenter privileges. And as you can see, the, the, the slide controls have appeared um, uh, at the bottom of the screen. Um, here, uh, I can jump to another slide if I know my slide number over here. As a presenter, it might be useful for you to know that keyboard controls work. So if your mouse and you've clicked focus on the presentation area, you can use a top, down, left, right, uh, page up, page down to uh, move between your slides, which can be comfortable as a presenter. But we can here because I wanted to show you how to upload your slides. At the bottom of the screen here on the lower left corner, there is an actions button. And the actions button allows me to start a poll, upload a presentation, or share an external video. So I'm obviously going to use upload a presentation right now. So if I click here, it will show a full screen UI for the presenter. I can drag and drop the presentation here or just trigger the file dialog to upload a slide deck. I will just go pick one called not that. Uh, we'll just do the sessions lead, presentation, the town hall, whatever. And now I have three of them. The default one that was listed, the one I've uploaded that is flagged as current, 
and the upload one. It's selected by default by that little green check mark next to the icon. And right now, I have not enabled presentation download. I will just do that so you can see that it's available. Once you click upload, the file gets transformed by the server. It takes a few seconds as it walks through all of your files. And you can see that now the new presentation has been uploaded on that screen. So again, actions button, upload a presentation, find your file, click upload, and you're done. Uh, back to you, Paul. Oh, sorry. Thank, thank you, Guy. This time, unmuted. Uh, that's the other fun one there. All right. And so at this point, I uh, uh, get myself unconfused. Do you want me to? I take presenter. Thank and you. then we're back over here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm learning, too, as you might have noticed. He is uh, quite expert at this interface, and I appreciate his help with all of it. OK. So um, we're going to go through some of these things here. Um, uh, uh, the uh, public chat, there's also a shared notes. And uh, if you look on the upper, uh, there's messages, which is where people have been typing. So at the very top, so there's a little, a little logo on the very upper left. Under it, there's messages and public chat. And uh, in public chat, uh, we've been typing back and forth. That's great. Um, and then there's also shared notes. And shared notes um, is probably more likely used by the microconferences than the, than the uh, kernel summit or the referee track sessions. But it's a place where you can put stuff. You can write stuff, take notes, or, or give feedback, or something like that. Um, in addition, uh, Let's see here. I'll, oops, I'll try clicking the right button. If you click on somebody's icon, uh, you can you can start a private chat as well. Okay, and uh, that might be useful if you want to have a side conversation with somebody. Uh, for example, somebody's presenting, and there's somebody with with similar expertise in the room, and you want to ask them, "Wait a minute, this thing he said, what what's really going on with it, or how does that affect?" My part of the of the software stack or whatever, okay. But you can uh, uh, go ahead and try that if you want. You can pick a pick a victim. You click on their icon and there's start a private chat. You can click on that and you can type. Okay, uh, several picked me as a victim. That's an uh, 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 unusual choice, but I appreciate it at my age. I appreciate whatever I can get here. Finally got smart and, and, and doing copy paste here. Okay, uh, anybody having trouble with that? Anybody try send a public a private chat that wasn't able to? Going once, going twice. Okay, uh, if you're yelling at your mute button, uh, please unmute yourself. Otherwise, uh, uh, feel free to send. If you send me a private, well, if you're having probable private chat, sending me a private chat is going to be very helpful as advice, I'm afraid. But there's public chat. You send me an email, whatever, we can uh, we can work it out. Okay. Uh, we're going to look at a couple of other things here momentarily. Um, uh, you saw, we saw a demo of screen sharing. That's how Guy showed us his view of the other hack room and showed us things going on there. And again, uh, that's the plus on the bottom. And uh, uh, there's a way of, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, sharing down there. Okay. Um, let's try a poll here. And let's see if I can make that happen. Um, I'm doing the wrong thing here. There we are. So I'm looking at the wrong place. Let's start it. Okay. As I said, I'm kind of into this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ABCD poll to match the slide. Now that I finally found it, like I said, I'm learning this too. Um, so we're going to click on that, and that should give you a poll. 
and you should be able to see a way to respond. And people are responding. We got, uh, they're cutting, responding quickly enough that I'm having a hard time eating up. Um, and uh, uh, sorry, there's a, uh, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, we got a couple left. I'll give you a couple more seconds if you want to respond to respond. If you're having trouble uh, finding how to respond, uh, speak up and we'll go through it. While, while we're waiting for people to do that poll, I'd like to offer uh, a piece of information that the poll answers that people are providing are not uh, anonymous, meaning that the presenter sees the answer that each individual has selected for themselves. The final results is a count of the answers and therefore anonymous. The other viewers won't be able to see what you selected as an answer, but uh, the, the presenter himself can see what each individual uh, contributor to the pool has selected as an answer. And of course, if the uh, there were a couple of people that clicked A, um, if there's something we do to improve it, uh, feel free to, to tell me one way or another, your choice of communication media. <laughs> if you were just uh, yanking my chain, that's fine too, you know? Um, okay, so I published yeah, and, and, for, yeah. and yeah. there we are. You shouldn't, uh, go ahead, Guy, sorry. I didn't mean to talk over you. I, I was going to ask you to click publish results uh, to a very separate thing. It's a very selfish thing on my part. If you don't publish the results, but you do a poll, your poll answers, your poll question answers will be stuck on the live stream until you do another poll. So um, just out of regard for everybody that joins the live stream, um, on top of the fact that they can't answer the poll questions, they'll be stuck seeing the poll questions until you actually publish results. So uh, unless we can patch that up, I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, it would be nice. And also, you do a poll. You should always, if you have the courage to put the question out there, you could show. You should show the answer. In order to do that, in that UI, there is a button that says Publish Results. Make sure you always click that before you move on to your next slide. Thank you, Guy. All right. So uh, now we can have fun with a whiteboard. Um, and uh, what we can do here is uh, you, you, there should be a palette on the very far right-hand corner of the screen. Um, and uh, go ahead. You can click on different things and make shapes there. If you don't see a palette there, speak up so that we can uh, get the right thing in the right place to enable that. They, they do not. They do not. Okay. As, as a presenter, initially, you're the only user that has access to the whiteboard. So if, for example, right now, Paul is moving his mouse on the screen, you can see that his cursor is represented by a red dot. This is our 3,000 miles capable laser pointer. Please don't look at it directly with the remaining. Um, you can draw shapes. You can do text. You can do all sorts of stuff that way as the presenter. It's, it's mostly useful if you have a diagram on the screen and you want to add something to that. Um, the very bottom icon on that whiteboard toolbar is a multi-user toolbar. So if you click on the very bottom icon in your toolbox, Paul, you will enable shared whiteboard for everybody else. And there now okay. everybody will be able to see the toolbox and uh, access that. Please use All that right. very carefully. It's fun here. I don't recommend you actually do that in your presentation. Um, if for no other reason that it's very taxing on the server uh, and, and everything else, but um, uh, and, and your clients as well. Uh, you can stop that at any time, uh, uh, Paul. <laughs> uh, the most useful thing is if you look at the toolbox, you can actually say shape, but you can write text. So that one, that one could be useful. So. If you click on the pencil, there is a text writing. You can draw a box in which you want to add the text, and you can type text inside of that. Um, you, the annotations that are created by the whiteboard tool remains with the slide. So if you move forward and you come back, the annotations will still be there. Uh, and you can clear the annotations when you're done with that. Um, if you do a poll and annotations at the same time, if you remove the annotations, it will clear out the poll results as well. So I would suggest you don't do polls and uh, uh, whiteboarding on the same slide if you can avoid it. Back to you, Paul. OK, thank you, Guy. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm learning this too. Yeah, there we are. Oops, clear. Oops, clear is. <laughs> OK, yeah. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, um, uh, yeah, if I hit, if you hit the 
the trash can it clears eventually uh, clears mine and it clears yes. yours or I can just turn it off and then uh, clear everything and it's gone so it's uh, a great way to do graffiti uh, again this does load the server a bit uh, if you have a large group and you enable everybody um, that may uh, be inconvenient for the other people attending plumbers so please you know keep it to a, a small group setting okay uh, let me Uh, get to the next slide here. Okay, uh, we've talked about this a little bit, but it bears reiterating. Again, we're you know, this is easier in face-to-face. Uh, uh, -face. We know how to do it. You put your hand up and somebody throws a microphone at you, you grab it and start talking. Uh, what, what we're gonna do is you can ask them in public chat. People have been doing that and that's great. Um, there's a shared notes. Uh, has anybody not found the shared notes? Uh, right now that would be uh, there's messages with public chat and any private chats you participated in. And then there's notes and shared notes. If you click on that, uh, you'll see uh, a few URLs that have been uh, pre-populated there. And uh, you can uh, uh, type in there, sort of like the old ether pads we've used in previous plumbers, but um, associated more directly with, with DVD. Um, so you can, uh, it's, a, it's a shared thing there. And then uh, um, uh, for microconferences, there's a dedicated channel for each of them. Um, I'm not sure we're going to do that. We, ha we have speakers already, so we'll, we'll uh, do that uh, yeah, there as well. Uh, and thanks, Guy, for setting that up. Okay. So um, uh, at this point, uh, if there are any questions or things where, uh, wait a minute, how do you do this? Or how's this, how do we make this actually work? This would be a great time to let us know. We still got a couple of days to uh, figure out how to how to make the world work here. Uh, I have a question. Go for it. Um, I'm a bit confused about the uploading your slides to BBB because it talks about a plus button in the bottom left of the session window. Is that a BBB session or something else? Because I don't see a little plus button in the bottom left. Okay, you, so on so the bottom. Why don't you make, go ahead. When you do, here, uh, if you don't mind, I'll take over a presenter from you. Go for uh, it. And uh, Nathan, it was you, Nathan, right? Yes, it was, thank you. Thank you, Guy. And now you should see a button on the lower left corner. Of oh, I do, yeah, well, I, yes. Ah, oh, right. It, it, it appears when you're the presenter, but not otherwise. Is that? Why don't you take us to? Why don't you go through some of the slides here? You can try moving them left and right. You can. Uh, you see, we uh, see your yeah. cursor right there. You can use your keyboard and all mouse. That's the presenter's UI. So most of the screen remains the same. You just have that toolbar uh, underneath the slides now, and you can navigate. And you have that uh, toolbox that shows the whiteboard on the okay. right side that you always have as well. And you can create a poll, share an external video, or upload videos with that plus button right now. Again, uh, okay. you need to be presenter to see that. OK, thank you. That, that's what I was missing. Great. OK. And uh, thank you, Guy. Uh, uh, and uh, thank you, Nathan, for being our uh, demonstration. OK, um, other questions? Luis. Uh, yes, sorry. You mentioned that we, we can uh, silence people in the room if necessary, but I, I don't see anything here that uh, would uh, let me do that you, to, uh, to mute the microphone. Luis, you are... No, uh, Go ahead. so you're, you're not a moderator right now, Luis. Uh, therefore, that is why you can't see that. You see your icon is well. I will promote you as a moderator now. Your UI is going to have changed a little bit. What I'm going to invite you to do is, uh, you, you can see at the top, sorry, I should probably turn my camera on so you guys can see me as well. Uh, that would be considerate. At the top of your screen, just above my icons up here, you can see bubbles that illuminate. If Paul, you talk as well, you can see that everybody else's icons are illuminating. The brighter they are, the more energy comes through the microphone. And somebody wants to go and just mute me right now by Luis, just click on my name and you'll be able to just turn my microphone. <laughs> Much better. Yeah, great. <laughs> 
this is only a one-time thing that user can just unmute themselves. So this is where the crowd management part comes into play, right? You don't want the speaker to be disrupted with that too much. So as an MC, if you have the moderator privileges, we ask you to be considerate of that. And if somebody keeps interrupting, more likely is there's a garbage truck outside and somebody forgot to mute themselves and there's background noise. So you just want to disable that or just some baby crying in the background. This is all me, by the way. And, and all of that, you, you want to be able to assist with that. So uh, just do that on their behalf. Just let them know in a private chat or whatever. But they'll realize they're muted or you can, somebody else with their mic on can let them know. Um, as the presenter, don't worry about this. Somebody else must do that for you. Just focus on your presentation, on your material, the things you want to share, and other people in your room will deal with that. So Luis, the answer to your question is you were not a moderator, you are now, you can mute somebody this way. There are many other features for muting people. Uh, maybe Paul, if you don't mind, I can take presenter for a second. I can Please. show that real quick on the other side. So I'm gonna share my screen again. I don't remember uh, which one I was using. Uh, well, we're gonna use that one, Wh whichever one this is. And then again, it's gonna take a second for the screen share to activate itself again. Uh, I wanna show you all the various places where you can do crowd management as an, as an uh, MC, because you weren't in the session leads. There is a video of that, but here very quickly in case other presenters are curious and something is bothering uh, them with that. So uh, the trainee is not a moderator right now, so I will just promote him uh, very quickly um, on the other side which is on this side. I, I must have 300 windows open, so uh, bear with me for just a second. Okay, now I have it. So over here, I can um, I can contribute demo and, and do all these activities on the users. If somebody is very disruptive, you can go ahead and say remove user, so you can kick them out of the virtual room. You can do it once, so you can make it more permanent by clicking the chest checkbox. Don't worry too much about that. The only thing I wanted to show is here. There's an ability to turn off a, a meeting mute, so you can disable all the people mute by default, or you can set the mute for everybody but just the presenter. I, I can't do that right now because I need to set that up here. So you can see here there's this option. So as an MC or as a presenter that has moderator's privileges, if you'd like to do that, you can turn that off and then you can say mute all users except for the presenter. Um, and then finally, this is only the other thing. If somebody is actually logged in with audio, here there's an option that says mute user as well. This user is only in listen only mode, so I can't show you that directly. There's plenty of places. All that is documented in our guides. Hopefully there's enough keywords used that if you just want to search for things like mute, demo, uh, moderators, uh, camera, uh, you should be able to navigate the document that way. But uh, that's it, Luis. That's your MC uh, run through in three minutes flat. <laughs> Uh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. Really appreciate that. Other questions? Let me go to the public chat. Somebody pulls it. Oh, okay, there we are. All right. Um, that's, uh, go ahead. I have a question. Uh, you were breaking up pretty badly. I heard a voice. Just a little bit. Uh, Raja, I'm having a really hard time hearing you. Could you please try uh, the uh, public chat and see how that works? It, it was not just you, Paul. I could, I could not hear uh, at all either. And that might happen, unfortunately. Yeah, no, we're, we're we're trying to span many continents here, and uh, life can be hard. Um, okay, so for a brief second, there was a consideration for offering a landline phone audio bridge for the conference, and then the complexity of doing that very quickly eliminated the the idea. So, unfortunately. All the audio as a presenter needs to be done through uh, the internet and the WebRTC connection to our servers. We don't have an alternative for you to present with. So 
Um, those data saving ideas, being able to turn off webcams, not sharing your screen, just relying on the slides being served up by the server are all ways uh, with which you can limit the bandwidth consumption so you can keep as much of your upload bandwidth for your outgoing microphone audio to the server. There is a troubleshooting guide. Uh, I think those are available in the presenters one as well. Uh, and uh, if, if you need to run through that, you can, you can measure your bandwidth connectivity to the server, the latency you're facing. You can test uh, various WebRTC uh, systems. The hack rooms is the most real way to try that. You can just jump into a hack room and see what's going on there. Uh, but we'll be happy to help you. Um, and for everybody else here, Nick uh, in hashtag presenter has already sorted himself out. He didn't need my help. He's going to use two computers. He's more bright than I am. And it's a very good way to go about it. Very good. OK. Um, and uh, what I did, uh, I think both Guy and I sent uh, Raja uh, a message uh, saying, uh, you know, please contact us so we can uh, hopefully help out with, uh, with audio. Uh, I'm going to hang out for the next uh, few minutes uh, to the to the top of the hour. If uh, more questions or people want to try things, you know, you want to want me to mark you as presenter and and run through it yourself, this is a good time as any. Um, you know, otherwise we uh, have our uh, last slide. Uh, well, actually, I don't have the last slide because uh, I'm not presenter right now. But uh, if I let let me do that, mm -hmm. and then that, and uh, we we did this already. Uh, and it, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I'm sorry. Uh, we, uh, this just gives a uh, a uh, rough idea of how we're how we're set up, what the what the software looks like. And John Corbett and Guy Lenardi, especially, uh, there have been other contributors as well, not me so much, I'm afraid, uh, who have put a huge amount of work into making this happen this year. We felt it was extremely important to make use of open source components. I mean, I would have been obviously a lot less work to have just, you know, got one of the prefab things, lay down some money, and be happy. But uh, but we felt, you know, we needed to to do it this way to support open the source software, and that's what these guys did to make it happen. And I, my hats off to them. I, I must admit that I was I, I had some skepticism early on when they said they were going to do this, but they did it, and that's great. So thank you guys all. That was great. It was great. Will be great next week too. All right, so uh, again, I'm, I'll be hanging out here for five more minutes. Uh, if you have questions, if you want to uh, try something, uh, uh, now's a great time. If you got something else you need to go to, that's great too. Uh, either way, uh, look forward to next week. I think we're going to have a great conference despite what 2020 has done. Uh, so, you know, uh, let's uh, I hope, this, uh, hope we make this happen, and uh, we really appreciate all your guys' contributions too. Without speakers, without MCs, without uh, people doing the microconference into things, we don't have anything. You know, it's on you guys that uh, that we have a great conference every year, and we're looking forward to next week. We we'll really want to hear what you guys have to say and what we can do to make uh, the world open source world better. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Guy. I really appreciate the help in there. As uh, as I said, I'm learning too. Thank you. And it was nice. Thanks. Cheers. Yes. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. One quick.